Hey, missed ya. So, we're here in our vintage trailer. I'm cleaning it up today. I got drawer and cupboard duty. I'm just getting all the old dust and grime out of there. Wearing gloves. And Tony is going to start taking out the bathroom wall that is visibly not good from the inside so that we can see what's on the outside. Pretty much got it. Okay, table is just about clean. The table wasn't awful, but there were some sticky things and some gluey things. There was um, a, some there was graffiti. A, yeah. There was some graffiti in Magic Marker, red and black, and I got that. I can see it, but if, it, if nobody knew it was there, nobody would know it was there. Yeah. And then I think I just got the last of this paint or something off so the table is in pretty good shape there's a little bit of chipping here i wanted to see how to take care of that because i did snag my pants on it yesterday so well see what we can do anyway we are tony and peggy and this is round two of the i'm going to turn it around here this is round two of the aristocrat blog on our 1970 aristocrat landliner and it's been a while since we've done an update. Yep. But the reason for that is uh, winter. Winter. It was and all covered up with a couple of tarps. Yeah. It and... was raining like crazy here yeah. in Northern California. And so we, uh, we haven't really looked at the vintage trailer at all. Well, we've looked at it out the window and went, man, <laughs> we can't wait. Well, well, we've been at it a few days now, four or five days. And we've got it pretty cleaned up. Yeah. I'm pretty pleased about how well it cleaned. I know exactly which drawers are missing now. Right. Um, there's a little bit of hardware issues, but minor things look. I, the stove and oven look brand new. Well, we're let's let's go on a tour. Okay, let's go on a tour. Okay. So I'm still working on the stove pan. There's either some stuck on stuff or some rust. I'm not sure, and and I'm taking care of that. There are Wait, most... why don't we look inside the oven? It's oh, beautiful okay. in there. Inside the oven, it's beautiful. It's as if no one ever yeah, used I'm it. Yeah, I'm not sure anyone ever really used it. I cleaned some this. dust out of it, but we haven't... Uh, well, we haven't hooked up propane yet, so we haven't tried to see if it works. Right. And we can't make the light bulb work. But I, Yeah, well, and by the way, you see the dangly wires there. This is um, going to be a fan. I pulled... Max Air yeah, fans. I've pulled wires... So we can put a Max Air fan, which we already have. We bought that, and yep. that's here, um, and that's 12 volt up there. The heater, we've got this open, so we could check out. I'm gonna about to sneeze, so we can check out how that's working. I forgot to vacuum in there, didn't I? Oh well. <laughs> Peggy has been super busy on cleaning up this old girl. Cleaning, cleaning. I've even started bringing some things in from the other camper, and figuring out where supplies will go this is a wonderful big old cabinet under here huh? where our pans well <laughs> <laughs> we've yeah we're not organized just yet where the pans actually fit it's a really strong shelf so i'm pretty sure they're going to ride there just fine yeah by the way look at the plumbing all copper all copper plumbing i don't know why that impresses me one of the things as we go through this and i've been under this trailer and over the trailer and <laughs> all around the trailer one of the things that really impresses me is how much of this trailer built in the 1970s was manufactured here in the in u.s California. and more so right as peggy said california for example this heater is a company called safety flame uh, made in Hayward, California, yeah. which is, you know, the Bay Area. The um, the water heater, again, made in California. The uh, monomatic toilet made mm. in Los Angeles. So we used to actually make stuff in the U.S., and we actually used to make stuff in California. So I will say this. there You see a lot of this peeling. We've talked about this stuff, this photo paper yeah, that's photo over board. top of the wood when I saw the extent of this, when I first walked in here, I thought everywhere that there was peeling photo was going to be wood rot. I was wrong. Yay. Yeah. It's yeah. just the paneling is, I mean, the, the, the wallpaper, let's call it, is just falling off. And that's, I mean, after 50 years, 
whatever. Yeah, we we, we can could all use a facelift, <laughs> right? Um, so what we have found is either things actually work or we've made them work for the most part. Uh, the interesting thing about this is, like that, what you're looking at right now, is the couch, but then it there's an extension that pulls out Let's here. See and makes into the bed. There's our first load of stuff from E-Trailer. Yeah. <laughs> E-Trailer, man, we have been spending some money over there. And so I just e -trailer. ordered... Oh, sorry. Yeah. But also a, a specialist that makes oh, these yeah. special, um, makes these badges for aristocrats. Yeah, and so we found... he doesn't paint them anymore. So we are going to be painting them, but we got these, I don't want to break them, but no. they're plastic and they say landliner. Yeah, so, so all, and he taught it, he sent us the painting instructions. The original badging or, so you know, reproduction. So all the outside badging can get done. Badging. Badging. We, not, we need some stinking badging. Here, let me, one of the cool things is, of course, all the lights work, except for the yeah. one you saw hanging down in the, uh, in the front there, but that's another trip to the hardware store. I just learned how far open these things will go for great... <laughs> Great airflow. Chrysler airflow. We do have to clo clean the paint off of all the windows. Yeah. From the outside, they painted them, I guess, instead of buying curtains. It was way easier to just paint them. Well, we've talked about that before. Whatever. And it's disappointing. Um, and speaking of painting, we've got some very colorful, <laughs> delightful. <laughs> one drawer, which we have inside because we are looking for some spare parts. Which we found on e-trailer. We found all these uh, latches. Yeah, the latches and, and the hardware and stuff like that. So these, we'll just build some drawers and we have matching hardware. What you may not know is Peggy used to build drawers at Alpha Leisure. I did. Which was an RV manufacturer right. in California. In California in the 80s, not yeah. 70s. So another thing, we showed you one heater. There's a second heater. So there's, like, if you're FYAO, no worries. You will not have to worry about that. Oh, you put stuff in the cabinet. I put some stuff in the cabinet. I'm not sure if that's the permanent place, but it needed a place, and there was nothing there. So yeah. the closet is actually quite big, and you'll be surprised to find out how many cushions are in there. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to the recover The cushions are kind yeah. of in there just to we'll get out of We'll recover those way. later. But it's a really nice big closet. There's tons of storage in here. It's yeah, amazing. For, for people who say, oh, i got to have a slide room for space, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. This thing is really spacious. By the way, this is an air cleaner we're reviewing. Um, and it did... So one of the things... And it, there'll be a separate video about this. But I tore the wall off because I thought it was rotted. It's really not. But that's okay. Um, we're going to put frp there which is freaking really plastic <laughs> um so that because because the shower is so little yeah the shower is really really small we figured a plastic wall right there might not be a bad idea in case we sh try to shower and things splash right now that is what is called a monomatic toilet built in los angeles california <laughs> and it works i f i got it working so Again, it was just old contacts and electronic stuff. Well, not even electronics. It was a switch. There's a timed switch on it. And I just, little contact cleaner, a little cleany weeny, and wait, I didn't want to say that. A little cleaning. <laughs> and uh, bing, bang, boom. Monomatic toilets working. So in this space, we won't put another fan, but we'll put a vent. Good thing that wasn't right. live. I just touched the end of those wires. Right, and it's uh, <laughs> 110 wire to that hole. It's a 14 by 14 hole. So it could be an air conditioner. It could be an air conditioner. Uh, it's not going to be. No, because... Right. We've got this space down here that appears that maybe it used to be a giant drawer. But it's a really good space to hold a small window air conditioner. We'll frame it out on the bottom. There's venting already in that wall because of the refrigerator that's right here behind. And so that will be where we put the air conditioner rather than... In on the, the roof. roof. Yeah, uh, let's. I'll take you outside and show you some of the other stuff I did. Um, the refrigerator no longer has rotten potatoes in it. Yeah, but which is nice. I also haven't figured out how to make it work yet. <laughs> and uh, we are good friends with Roger Ford from Ford's RV Refrigeration 
probably the best RV refrigeration company in the U.S. And so I'm going to call him and say, Roger, help. help. <laughs> so outside, not a lot of progress, really. Uh, the tires that we're holding air aren't, but tomorrow I'm going to buy new tires. Um, well, you have made progress in taking those cabinet doors off. That's true, and I'll get to that, too. There's the ladder that I've been using. Um, you're still following an aristocrat. By the way, the state would not let us keep these for official use. But I figure if we go to vintage trailer rallies, what I'm going to do is I'll stick the new license plates that we got on there with magnets. And then at a vintage trailer rally, we will just pull those off. So we'll be sort of legal. Notice the, I don't know if you remember the stupid antenna, the TV antenna, that is now gone. Uh, we're going to plug the holes. I got to spend my time underneath the trailer today working on the the tank and it turns out the way these are plumbed there is a single tank underneath and it is sort of a gray tank except that if you use the shower it um, it dumps basically directly out so it does not go in the gray tank what does go in the gray tank is sink water and then the monomatic toilet when you flush it, it goes into its own little tank and it uh, then you have a valve and you dump that into the the common tank. The so, common waste tank. Yeah, the waste tank. That's the battery drawer. We did put a battery. Look, drain and flush water tank after each trip. Uh, yeah, we, we will. We're powering it with our Jackery. Which but is anyway, working it's remarkably well. Yeah, that thing just has been sweet. Well, it's 400 watts of solar, so, um, and it's a 1500 watt. Another thing I did outside here is I pulled, since we don't have the keys to the baggage doors, I pulled off the baggage doors, and I bought uh, key or keyless locks. So the little tumbler ones, I like those. And so those are coming. Um, so that's where we are thus far. Uh, I have another video that I shot about busting open that wall. So we will show you that. But overall, it's uh, I would not feel uncomfortable going camping in it now. Of course, there's other stuff we want to do, lots of other stuff. Sure, but, but I wouldn't mind going camping. No. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, happy, happy camping. camping.